another blank Mega Drive box, another game, and in here we have um, Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition. So this was the first um, Street Fighter 2 game on the Mega Drive, I believe. Um, came a while after um, Street Fighter 2 on Super Nintendo, I think. But um, yeah, we didn't just get the. Uh, I'll say we. I mean, um, those people who had Mega Drives back in the day uh, waited a while, um, but we didn't get Vanilla Street Fighter. We got some extra bits. I absolutely love the intro music on this uh, this game. Also got um, Super Street Fighter 2. Um, don't like. I don't like that as much as the uh, as this version. Put it on two star loss. Uh, go for easy, just because it's hard to uh, concentrate when I'm talking. So you want the six button pad for this game? We'll go for hyper. I don't want to knock it up to three stars because. The problem is that when you're using uh, an old um, six button control pad, the buttons can be a bit sticky and it's hard to uh, hit the buttons quick enough. So, yeah, like I say, you didn't get the vanilla version, you got the champion edition, so you got the hyper bits from uh, uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo, and then um, you've also got the, uh, the bosses. Just pick guile for me though, kind of timed out. Even though there wasn't a timer on the screen, I wouldn't have pissed him off for so long. Absolutely classic game this is, and the uh, music is classic as well. Some people say that the, um, the Super Nintendo bit versions better for music and that the uh, the Super Nintendo is just generally better with games for music. Well I prefer some sometimes I prefer the sharpness of the Mega Drive. Sometimes the uh, Street Fighter 2 um, Super Nintendo sorry sometimes the, uh, the sound chip can sound a bit murky. It's like the sharp crispness of the Mega Drive. So Guile isn't a character that I'd usually pick. Um, most of the time I just play as Ryu. See if I can pull off a Thonic Boom. There we go. You never forget a trick. D-pad's not really uh, helping my sonic boom cause now. Reset and pick um, pick Ryu because I don't have as much fun playing it with uh, Guile. Quick, click, quick, click. All right. Mash some faces in. There we go. I love the music on this stage as well. It's awesome. It's him with the fireball, motherfuckers. Stop being cheap. It's not easy! Fuck sake, this is not easy! This is being fucking cheap as hell. Fuck sake, you little fucking content! Street Fighter Rage! Rah! Demolish him now! He's gonna regret that! Maybe not. 
Or I could just be cheap. Computer's in bloody full on freaking fireball mode. Clawed it back, we're on even terms, now it's the penultimate third round. Bare knuckle fisticuffs. I purposely lost that first round just to listen to this awesome music again. Love to hit them with it. High kick, hard kick, whatever you want to call it. Um, combo, hit him, hit him from the air and then go down and do the sweep. So it's a good combo. Burn. Press the. Uh, buttons. I think the controller's coming loose. It is a bit dodgy this controller, but you just can't play Street Fighter or any fighting game really on the Mega Drive without a six-button control pad. It's got to be done. It's good that um, you've got the the hyper settings because it does feel really, really, really slow um, when you play Street Fighter 2 in its bare standard form. Street Fighter was kind of popular. They did um, GI Joe figures, and they just kind of look nothing like the Street Fighter two characters. It was just bizarre, especially Blanca. It was like he couldn't make a fat, kind of muscly GI Joe figure, so he was just like a skinny wrench, which obviously isn't his proportions in the game. Very rare in Street Fighter that I'll use anything but the most uh, most powerful kick and punch. Come on, one more hit. Oh, he's having my pants down. He's bent it to my asshole. If you've never played uh, Street Fighter 2 then um, clearly you're from another planet which is an uh, inferior planet to Earth but um, yeah you need to have a bit of this in your life I find it plays a bit a bit more fluid than uh, Street Fighter 4. I prefer 2D Street Fighters. I mean, Street Fighter 4 is a great game. Um, there's just something about it. It's not quite... Uh, not quite the pinnacle of gaming that Street Fighter 2 is. These uh, bonus rounds are ultimately I always find a bit pointless because they're just too easy. Since it with a hard kick. Done with plenty of time to spare. So I'm gonna have 
I'm going to try and finish off Guile and then I'm going to end the video um, with this awesome funky music. I love this music. Um, yeah, because chances are you'll have um, played Street Fighter 2, so you know um, how it all goes down. Like I say, you definitely need this game in your collection. Um, pick it up, box, four or five quid. Um, I got it in a bundle with Super Street Fighter 2, uh, Eternal Champions and this game pad. So it was kind of like a little 2D fighter pack. And, uh, yeah, I think I paid about nine quid. So, bargain, in my opinion. Three classic games. Control you need, so. so that's it. I've beat Guile. I've had 10 minutes of fun with Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition. Um, it's worth just hunting out this game, uh, any Street Fighter 2 game, really. Um, but yeah, for me, this is one of the best versions. I prefer this version to Super Street Fighter 2 because I like the intro music and I, I just like the original characters and everything. 